What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now a few weeks ago we made a video on TokenFi. I kind of gave you all the rundown about who they are, what they do, why I invested into them and much more. And I told you all that I would give you updates as things did come out that I thought were important. And so in today's video we're going to talk about a couple updates that I think are actually pretty damn important, especially from a fundamental level. And let's of course get started. Now first and foremost the biggest one we can now see that their TokenFi staking platform is finally active. And I do think that although staking is something we see across many different ecosystems implementing it is just kind of a status symbol to say listen we're developing we have utility we put out the staking protocol just to reward our long-term holders and of course to incentivize them to continue holding for the long term now it is an extremely extremely easy process just to kind of look at it what you would do is just press your connect wallet button up towards the top then what you have to go in and you simply just choose okay how much do i want to stake let's just go in and stake my max amount i just bought a couple extra tokens so i could throw them in the staking protocol to show you how it works works so you're going to press max or however many you would like to stake you're going to just press next decide how long you want to stake them for so of course we have three months at 30 percent one year at 48 percent two years at 73 percent and four years at 97 percent but let's just go off and take the 30.62 percent just to make it simple now we're going to press next go in press confirm we're going to get a transaction in which i will go ahead and confirm off screen here for you in which you just have to approve the amount in which you are going to stake and then boom congratulations you're all set all done so now that's staked now what we can see here is if we then go to my stakes you can say boom this is how much i staked this is for the duration obviously here's an unlock timestamp, how much i've earned the apy the time left etc now if you do want to unstake obviously one thing that you have to consider is that there are going to be fees there's a five to twenty percent penalty fee if a, a user chooses to unlock their stake token earlier than the duration they selected so obviously if you don't have to unstake them i probably wouldn't unstake them because you would then have to pay a fee now a lot of people People have already got to staking over 5.5 million dollars in their token has been staked within the first just 30 minutes of it going live this number is way higher now and so obviously i believe that going forward this is something that was pretty crucial to their ecosystem just simply based off of usage okay so i obviously do love to see that they have done this and i do look forward to seeing what other updates do come from the ecosystem itself now kind of moving away from the ecosystem just a little bit i actually want to talk a bit about narrative because you all know that we have been really narrative driven recently recently here on the channel. Now, one of the narratives that recently just popped off out of almost nowhere, especially over the last few weeks, has been the RWA and the tokenization narrative, right? RWA stands for real world assets. Basically, the idea of being able to tokenize a real world asset like a car or a house or your dog, maybe not your dog, but your dog, you get what I mean, right? Being able to tokenize them and obviously implement and or inject them into the world of blockchain. Now, this is great. I think this is great, okay? The reason I think that this is great is due to the fact that TokenFi was ahead of this narrative. And whenever companies are consistently getting ahead of narratives, they're generally the ones that see the most growth when those narratives actually lead to an injection of liquidity into the ecosystem of that narrative, okay? Now, the reason I say that they were ahead of this narrative is because they've already been talking about the RWA tokenization, and I found it here on their TokenFi white paper just as proof. You can see here that, of course, they have developed a system in which you can take your asset tokenize it and then give it utilities in the world of web3 now the way in which this works let's kind of go ahead and talk about how this works just a little bit is that the token fi rwa tokenization module is created to enable the tokenization of real world assets that are not classified as securities this feature serves as a quick and efficient means for users to tokenize real world assets through the token fi platform the token fi rwa tokenization module will mainly allow tokenizing assets that are not securities and you see they're highlighting are not securities obviously for you know kind of legislative reasons there now the reason why i do again believe that this is so important not only the fact that it is a narrative that will drive attention towards token fi but their token itself is actually going to be the native token of the tokenization module meaning that once it does go live anyone who does want to tokenize their assets will have to interact with the token obviously leading to an increase in volume which in general does lead to an increase in price but that is not a guarantee and so again just whenever i started to see these articles popping up like boom rwa rwa real world assets tokenization i'm like well token five been ahead of this curve right and so obviously i think that that could be a major contributing factor to future success so of course we have talked about a little bit of on-chain development and utility we've talked about some of the more narrative driven things now let's talk about some partnerships and news because they did just announce something that i believe could bring a ton more eyes to token five as a whole so let's talk about that before we do wrap up today's update so what we can see here from the announcement floki and token five to dominate hong kong in aggressive two-month marketing campaign 
What you can see here is that their new marketing campaign will strategically introduce Floki and Token to millions of Hong Kongers during the Christmas and New Year period, as well as during the Chinese New Year in 2024, further cementing Floki and Token 5 dominance in Asia while also introducing our brands to millions of people. And remember, Hong Kong is booming right now in terms of the crypto scene. They are embracing crypto as a whole, and so this could put Token Fi and Floki in a position in which they are getting directly in front of all those new eyes. This campaign will be seen over 53 million times and will feature our brands on two of the iconic Hong Kong tram cars, delivering their brand to premium audiences on the prime routing. This goes through metropolitan zones, central Hong Kong's financial district, the shopper's paradise, and luxury residences between Quarry Bay and Central. The brand will also be featured on 69 high-definition digital city bus screens in key commercial districts, adding vibrant impact and frequency in prime positions such as outside Hong Kong Park, Revenue Tower, HSBC, Mandarin Oriental, China Tower, and COFCO or Kofco Tower also. Now, in terms of how long this campaign is going to last, it will last between December 17th and February 13th of 2024. So obviously they are positioning themselves extremely well in approaching the Bitcoin having. So whenever you think about everything that we talked about in the video, releasing utility, releasing development like the staking protocol, going further and being able to, of course, make sure that they are locking down these different initiatives and narratives such as the real world asset narrative, and then taking all of that and moving it forward to get in front of as many people as possible in one of the most crypto booming places on earth, I think you can start to understand why I personally do go so excited or get so excited to see things of this nature. And so with this in mind, that's the update today for Token Fi with everything that they have going on. And of course, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can always let me know by smashing that like button and dropping some opinions in the comments down below. And well, I'll see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.